Melvin did it. Yes. And she's like, Melvin, what were you thinking? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Done. Slobbed it down. I'm sorry for the sound effect. <laughs> One's Baby Boy is a certified hood classic, one of John Singleton's best. Round of applause for that classic film. But y'all, we gotta get into why one of the characters in the movie is not shit. And no, I'm not talking about Rodney, which was played by Snoop. I'm not talking about Jody. I'm not somebody vet. I'm talking about Mama herself. It's supposed to be the backbone of this movie, and that's no diss to AJ Johnson. Okay, she's a legend in the game. I'm talking about the character that she played, Mama, who I found out her name was Juanita. Because I think her name is only said twice in the movie. But Mama was not shit. She ain't shit. And I know what you're saying. Rashad, how can you say that? Because she really didn't do... Wrong. Wrong. It's not the quantity of what she did. It's the quality of the shit that she did. So just to give a little context. Juanita raised Jody on her own. No father. Unfortunate. Okay. But she raised Jody to be dependent. Unresponsible. Irresponsible. That's the word. You know what I mean? It's not Jody's fault. Okay, so the reason why Jody ain't shit is because of how Mama raised him. Mama loves thugs. She loves no good ass niggas. And not to mention, she never left the nest. Don't believe me? Check out the scene. And what you mean, leave the nest? That's just grandma's house. I ain't gotta leave the nest. You ain't never left it. And she couldn't say shit. It's funny how when Melvin came into the picture, that's when Mama started showing her ass. Before Melvin came, she was probably just a typical. You know, hood mama, I don't mean to sound mean about it, but come on, let's be real. But now that Melvin come into the picture, now she want to get all righteous and tell Jody how he ain't shit having all these babies and stuff and all that stuff, but uh, different women. You raised him that way, woman. Did I mention how she kicked out the other brother, Ray Ray, over the last boyfriend and he died out there on the streets? I'm going to get right to the meat potatoes of this shit. The real reason why mama ain't shit. Jody's laying down, minding his own business, just reflecting on life. Boom, she flashes a cannabis plant in front of his face. What is this? Cannabis? I teach you how to do something, and you plant this in my yard? Just gives him the shit, all right? And if he did it, justifiably so, but he didn't do it. Mama, I didn't do that. Why would I do that to you? This got your name written all over it. Just bit his head off. Ask Melvin. Oh, man, please, Jody, shut up. Melvin comes home, guess what? Dun, dun, dun. Melvin did it. Yes. And she's like, Melvin, what were you thinking? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It'll never happen again. Done. Slobbed it down. I'm sorry for the sound effect. <laughs> she just sits down, lights a cigarette. Well, that settles that. Oh, but when it was on me, it was World War Three. But now Mr. Melvin, who you just met not too long ago, you just gave him a pass. And me, who you carried, spit me out your butt, raised me to be a no-good-ass nigga, and you shit him. No. She was out of pocket for that. And because of that... Jody had to get into it with Melvin, got his jaw damn near broken, had to leave his, I had to forcefully uh, leave the nest, now he's homeless, no place to go, already plagued with problems with the baby mama and stuff, and mama just sitting there crying, you, you got you got to live your own life, Jody, didn't matter if you lived or died, mama, if I get killed, it's on you, you have to live your own life, I got Melvin, Melvin, baby, don't go, <sighs> now mind you, like I said, she just met Melvin not too long ago. Melvin showed that he was crazy, okay? I mean, you can see crazy written all over him, but after he beat Jody ass, and he went to slapping himself in the head, you know, you want to fuck with a nigga. You want to fuck with a nigga with the punch in the wall. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, he's only uh, a short and curly away from being upside your head, but you cry your cracking out tears. Let your son go off on his own. Don't care what happens to him. And then you lay in bed with Melvin. Hold me. Hold me tighter. I wish Melvin would have just squeezed the life out of her. Just, gah! Snap that shit. <laughs> Luckily, Jody does not die. Luckily, this is called Baby Boy starring Tyrese. So, Jody makes it out with the help of his friend Sweet Pea. He takes out Snoop. He lives happily ever after with his girl. Now, after everything is all solved and it's all good, he goes back to Mama just be like, Mama, I'm okay. And now, and now, now, she wants to play the Angela Bassett role, sitting there crying to Mom, you know, baby, you better watch your back. It's too late to be giving me words of wisdom and advice now. You left me to die. You ain't care what happened to me. But now that I'm okay, baby, you better watch your back. Mama! Juanita gets the You Ain't Shit Award. Boy, that, that, that squat fuck must be something else, boy, because 
he had events, uh, not event, but he had uh, Juanita so gone where she just totally dismissed her son, left her son out to dry. And thankfully, Jody figured it out on his own and he got to take care of old thumb sucking Yvette and lived happily ever after with her and uh, the baby. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think Juanita was a villain in Baby Boy? Comment freely below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.